from being You a lady fan It's your man Wizzo This is for the gangsters Shout out to the gangsters Postman posted with them gangsters My homies be on gang time All my homies throwing gang signs I keep it real, I cannot fake mine This is for the gangsters Shout out to the gangsters Postman posted with them gangsters My homies be on gang time All my homies throwing gang signs I keep it real, I cannot fake mine You know the vibe If you don't tell a gangster story Need to let a gangster Melly, tell it what up? And for the record, a gangster ain't never telling never A gangster tell. gon' keep his mouth closed And die a felon That's a Ten fact. toes down, lace up your chucks and grab your weapon I'm set. rapping for my section My mom big step and high wow. gang If he visit the turf and he ain't check in He a lame Another cow about to find him a grave It's Santa Gang This is for the gangsters Shout out to the gangsters Postman posted with them gangsters My homies be on gang time All my homies throwing gang signs I keep it real, I cannot fake mine This is for the gangsters Shout out to the gangsters Postman posted with them gangsters My homies be on gang time All my homies throwing gang signs I keep it real, I cannot fake mine You know Shout out to the Mailroom Nation. Shout out to the Mailroom Goons. I am Professor Melly Mel, the hood postman. You know the vibe. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share. Drop a comment down below so when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first in the 15th city hood. Click. Let's go. We are back. We are back for another episode of Foolishness Friday. This is the part of the week where we get to the, all the end of the week where we combine all the foolishness that we don't see and witness. And that's been going across our phones and our tablets and our computers and even in, very, in front of our very eyes. And we get to talk about it, speak about it and try to dissect it and just try to make sense out of nonsense. I don't know how we do that. But that's what it is. We're trying to make sense out of nonsense before we get started. Everybody, everybody swear they solid. I see it too until you put some heat on it. <laughs> Shout out to Whack. <laughs> Shout out to Whack 100. Shout out to Cocktails with Mika. I don't know what's going on with that, but I ain't finna delve off into that. <laughs> that's Man, that's a little bit too messy for the professor. <laughs> they, uh, they got people over there naked. <laughs> got their naked booties out. <laughs> nah, whack my guy, man. I hope, you know, I don't know what's going to cover that stuff, man. Just hope he, you know, pray for him and the lady. You know what I mean? They talking about filing lawsuits and everything. And it was, it, it was just, man, I think it was February the 2nd. We was all at the clubhouse. And Wack was talking crazy to 40 Glock because 40 Glock filed a lawsuit against him in the game. <laughs> which is, you know, which is very, very strange to me now that I see him. Man, oh, man, I'm, I'm meant to bring pride, dog. Where are you at, bro? It's foolishness Friday. Sometime I'll make a mistake. There you go. Brian. Add Brian to the stream. Brian is in the house, y'all. What's, right what's, what's happening? What's up, Brian D? I see you in the house, man. How you doing? Doing all right, man. Man, you've been going through it, man. I don't know if you've been going through it. I just know you've been, you know, putting a check in, man. You have to check them people. Shout out to Cynthia Nunn. Shout out to Mike Marks. Wait a minute. King Mike Marks, extra Lord. Brother, you got too many different. Shout out to Rodney Scott. Shout out to Johnny Sullivan. Shout out to the Postmaster General, Marlena Williams. How you guys doing? Yeah, I was just talking about that picture. I saw a whack, man. That was so oh, strange. The tutor tooted like the Lolo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you <laughs> know. <laughs> Let me say this, though, man. When you truly got love for your homie, yeah. your mistakes, you hear what I'm saying? Their mistakes... Never change your feelings because it is the mind that get angry, but the heart, the heart still going to love. Well, see, and I always say, if I forget something, I say, blame it on the mind, but don't blame it on the heart. The heart is sincere. You can well, blame I, it on the mind. I only got four <laughs> things to say about that picture. You want me to say what is that? 
Whack. Whack. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> yeah, that was you on that on that video saying that. I saw that video right today, you know. I'm but anyway, I, I, I hope him and the young lady, they work their situation out, man. Yeah. That's a little bit too much for us. About shout out to the shout out to the platinum carpet in the house. You know, you but anyway, I mean. Brian, we want to get into something, man, because I found a clip, man. I want you to relate to this clip. Well, let me play this clip right quick. Yeah. Shout out to everybody in the mail room. In the mailroom nation, the mailroom goons, you guys know I got plenty of love for you. It's Friday, this foolishness Friday. You got to bear with us because we finna get into foolishness tonight. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me give you this clip, man. All Let right. me give you. I want you to because you've been, you know, you've been kind of delving into this situation with these guys and trying to figure out what what is their true angle. Here it goes. The black national anthem. It's coming to a football game near you. They're going to play it. They're going to play it for people who don't know. They're going to play it for the first week of every game of the NFL. They're going to play it before the American National Anthem. I think. What? Okay. I actually think, come on, I'm going to buy a boycott um, the first selling games. Well, I don't, I don't think I know any. Yeah, they're, they're going to sit Yeah, I think I'm going to have to boycott they're the They're going to play the Black National Anthem. Um, so I think next time... Wait, Africa don't have their own or what? Huh? Africa doesn't have their own national anthem? No, it's not Africa. It's not Africa. Africa. No, it's the black national. Okay, it's black the, national. It's the, so it's two different countries. We're trying to move to, yeah, we're trying to move to a different country. We're trying to move to a beautiful country of black America. But that's what it's coming to. We're changing the name of the United States yeah. of America. Black nations. Black nations. <laughs> So wait a minute, let me say this, Brian. Now, I don't know if they're aware of this or not, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. The NFL is at least 87% black. At least 87%. So if they want to play, lift every voice to the <laughs> national anthem as in the football game, I think they had a right to do that. I don't know why. Three guys sitting in some dungeon or sitting in some back room or some shack or or some corner of the of the globe. Why they should be overly concerned about that? I don't know the man, but that's racism at its highest level. Okay, now this is what I want to say. I want to make sure I get this point across. Not once have I ever said on the internet, or there's no documentation of me saying anything disparaging about. Mexicans, Salvadorians, Nicaraguans, Nicaraguans, Honduras, Guadalupe, Guadal 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 whatever, so on and so on and so on. No person speaks Spanish ever ever said anything disparaging about them. I've been attacking a terrorist group, a group of terrorists. Anytime you attack a culture simply based on a culture's color, you are terrorists. Those three individuals sitting at that table are part of a terrorist group. Okay, now, if they listen to the lyrics, it's lift every, emphasis on every, Voice. voice that's one two okay and this is not an attack on the culture because i have two handsome so many low sons that come from half of that culture okay now you have cinco de mayo that you celebrate in this country yet that's we don't complain day. about it we don't, we don't complain about it you have mexican independence day which is september 16th we don't complain about it so what are you talking about? Matter of fact, there's more tacos for us. Yeah, should, should we boycott anything? No, that would be madness. Well, for what? Their culture has not done anything for us to avoid that, you know, the like, oh, we're going to boycott Cinco de Mayo. We're going to, even though those are national holidays in Mexico. Rennie says she was just on blog with Swifty Blue. Wow. Okay. So nevertheless, he's a part of the tears, 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 tears group too. Except the tears group. You know, so now, with that being said, I want to address something real quick. I want to segue into something for y'all don't know what that means. I mean, I want to jump the track real quick. A guy I called, I called, I called uh, the guy that was sitting in the middle, the fat guy that was sitting in the middle, which you just showed. Yeah, American he Cholo, be, Gil. Yeah, he, wants, he wants to be, he wants to be Joe Rogan, but I really came to no, no, he doesn't want to be Joe Rogan. He doesn't want to be Rush Limbaugh. He wants to be David Duke. Okay. Why? Because his ideology is that akin to David Duke's. You know, David Duke says he's a conservative, right? This kid says he's a conservative. David Duke is, you know, a staunch Republican. This cat says he's a Republican. 
So he must be David Duke. So when I called him a coconut, someone said, well, that's like saying Uncle Tom. Well, what you don't understand about Uncle Tom, it was Sambo that set Uncle Tom up and got him killed. Uncle Tom was the truth in, 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 in Uncle Tom's cabin. Uncle Tom was the radical. See, when that European said in the book that Uncle Tom ain't no good, Dr. Marcus. He, he had his slaves thinking that Uncle Tom was a sellout. Why Uncle, do you think, well, let me ask you a question, brother. What, what, why do you think this guy is so focused on what are we doing? You know what I mean? Because we, we don't really, like I was pointing out early on, there's a guy, and I can go get him. He's he's seen black guy. He's seen mariachi music very, very well. He beat him at it, you know. And we're not tripping. We we applaud the guy, you know what I mean? Because he's doing what he's doing what he wants to do as an individual. It has nothing to do with our culture. But our culture, our coach, hip hop is our culture. Well, uh, sorry, Jamaicans, sorry to the Puerto Ricans. You guys might have added something to the pot of stew, but you didn't create it. No. You did not create it. You added something to it. Of course you did. You might have bought the break dance and you might have bought the graffiti, whatever. And reggae, you might have bought some of your, 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 your rhythms into it. But the overall culture was created by black Americans. And every, every, and that culture in hip hop, I was that. Every you can't watch a commercial without hip hop being there. You can't watch fashion without hip hop being. There. You can't if they're selling toys, cars, or whatever they sell. It has a, a a source of hip hop in it. So what I'm saying that we as a people we affect the whole world. Now why everybody s seem to try to diminish who we are as a people or underestimate, undervalue, and marginalize our culture. I have no idea, but we are who we are, and we're going to continue to grow and be the beautiful people that we are. We don't have no problem with nobody else. I have you get out because, again, about 90% of the NBA is black. Track and field, we dominate We dominate all that, the hundreds and the 200s and the 300s, 400s and 440s and all. We dominate that stuff. You understand? Mm -hmm. We're just blessed in that way. You know, not taking away from anybody else, but go ahead, continue. I don't want to take over the show. Like I said, my thing, my thing is, everyone keeps telling me I'm attacking their culture, and, and I'm getting tired of beating this horse. No, I'm attacking a terrorist group that just so happens to speak Spanish. Uh huh. I'm not attacking anything else. I'm attacking, I'm going to say it once again, a terrorist group that happens to speak Spanish. For the most part. Okay. You have the Ku Klux Klan. If the Ku Klux Klan centers on color, uh -huh. in particular, aren't they deemed a terrorist group? Right on, bro. And I'm this, listening, bro. You that question, man. If a if any, any if any group centers on a person simply because of the complexion of their skin to terrorize them, isn't that considered a terrorist group? Mel, are you there? Say, I'm reading this comment. Go ahead, Bart. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry but to I'm, see. Wait a minute. Right? We, let me put it up. Let me put it up, and we can read together. There you go. But who knows what you read it? Read it aloud. But we, but we Browns know black people need us. But fuck that, we don't need y'all. We can even take <laughs> take care of your own, so we good. Hey, you know, man, <laughs> we not tripping, man. We not tripping. If y'all don't want, it, because you guys are the one that's trying to be a part of this hip hop, whatever, however you you choose to be it, or however you know what I mean. Most of the stuff y'all doing is 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 a reflection of who we are. Now, we ain't got no problem with that, but we just don't like how you, you know, you guys on there calling Tariq Nasheed a coon and all this other stuff, man. It's just, it just nonsense, bro. But see, the thing is, the thing is, on that comment right there, once again, no one has ever said anything about your culture. Negative. Uh -huh. It's never come out of my mouth. Nothing negative about your culture. I'm trying to see who is Platinum Carpet. So see, they're defending an ideology. 
they're getting upset about me calling an ideology out. So if you aren't a part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Yeah. Because I welcome a person that's not a part of that ideology to come to the table and say, hey, man, we ain't got no problem with y'all because I don't have no problem with them. All I right. With the terrorist group within that culture that speaks Spanish. That is my problem. When you firebomb a woman's home who has children, that is a problem because you're targeting her simply because of her skin complexion. Not only is that happening in Compton, it's happening in Big Hazard. It is a problem when you kill a 14-year-old girl, Cheryl Green, simply because of her complexion. That supersedes the gang culture and has become a terrorist action upon a culture of people. And it is not the Mexicans doing it. It is not the Salvadorians doing it. It is not the Nicaraguans doing it. It is not the Honduras doing it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It is a faction of individuals who speak Spanish that are terrorists. And what do they call themselves? The Rangels and Southsiders. They are not the Mexican per se and the other Spanish speaking groups that I've mentioned. Uh huh. That are the terrorists. Now, the argument could be well, not all Southsiders and Serranos are like that. But I beg the difference. They are not the Mexican per se and the other Spanish speaking groups that I've mentioned. Uh huh. You got a lot of background noise, ball game. Now, all right, hold the on. Argument could be well, not all South Side and Serrano's are like that. But I beg the difference. They are not. The okay. What's your name? Thank you, guys. You got a lot of background noise. Is that better? No, I can hear your TV and everything. How's that? That's better. Go yeah. ahead, bro. What I'm simply saying is you have the United States Army. You have the United States Marine Corps. Each one has a uniform code of conduct. You may have special forces, yet they are still a segment of the military brain. So therefore, if you have a different segment that's in East Los Angeles, never encountered brothers and have no brother oppositions, that are surrounded the South Siders. But what about your Long Beach segment? What about your Pomona segment? What about your Compton segment? They fall up under the same ideology, the same uniform code of conduct. If you had some guy from East LA who's with some guy from East Side Longo and he's over there visiting and any brother on this panel after dark would frequent that area, there the chances are his demise would be incorporated not only from the East Side Longo, but the guy from East LA because of the uniform code of conduct. Again, I'm going to reiterate what Bridal said. Listen, man. All of us, man, we got Hispanic friends. We got Mexican, Salvador, Puerto Ricans. We got friends. I'm talking about true friends. Not the Serrano stuff. The, the follow the Joe Morgan and Big Puppet and all them people ideology that follow that Hitler Nazi ideology that that surfaced up in prison that happened to wind up. They're using prison politics that stem from a white supremacist ideology that spilled over into the streets. Blacks didn't start the only water fountain or the only bathroom, the only bench. We did not start that. They don't come from there. They come from them. And in a, in a segment, a portion, a percentage of Mexican people, which call themselves Serenios, picked up that ideology and they carried it over and they try to enforce it even to this day on, in some prisons on the Pisces. The Pisces rejected it because that's not who they are in nature. They are very humble people. But go ahead, brother. I didn't mean to cut you. I just want to interject to sh show the difference because we're not specifically targeting if you're a Paisa, you you so, so, um, El Salvadorian, you're Nicaraguan, you Costa Rican, any of those Spanish speaking people, you guys, y'all got love, man, but it's just that 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 ideology that comes from the Serrano that's problematic. It's like I said, man, I'm teaching economics to young Hispanic men. 
economics, how to be economically sound. I'm teaching these classes to young men because this is who are the, in the area that I'm teaching it to. If it was brothers there, they're more than welcome. If there were Asians there, they're more than welcome. I don't discriminate. Like I said, my there's organization. And they say, well, man, you be don't go on like that no more. I beg to differ. I was in the Carmelitas Project last weekend. I was talking to someone. I said, what's going on over here? I said, who are the messages? He said, oh, no, they're not North Side Longos. You know, the North Side Longos are NKs now. I said, are they like the East Side Longos? He said, yeah, they don't come in the Carmelitas no more, but they're on the outskirts. So don't tell me it's not going on. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. When I'm being forewarned, we're not to go in the city that I'm born and raised in. Los Angeles County. Don't sit up here. Let's, and let's give uh, 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 ball game and Marcus a chance to speak on this subject matter. What, what's your thoughts on this? I mean, because ball game, you're in San Diego. Marcus, you still in Texas? I yeah, can't yeah. hear you. Let, 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 let me say this. Let, let me say this, man. And I, I want to address the the, the, the the little dude Jose Gradelia, whatever his name is, in the chat. This motherfucker talking about. You know what I'm saying? We can't take care of our own as if, you know what I'm saying? As if we need as if we needed them. I want you guys to I, I want you guys to to really think about this. When in the fuck did we ever need some goddamn masters? You understand what I'm saying? We the ones, you understand what I'm saying, that fought for civil rights in order for them motherfuckers to even do the shit that they doing. But at the same time, they want he he wants to sit there and talk this shit as if, you know, this as if uh as if we need them, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got the shit together, you know, in their backyard, you know what I'm saying? You know, they they, they they trying to gradually come up, but this is one thing that I think we should stop doing as black people. We should stop identifying, you know, what happened, you know, when we're fighting our fight for whatever causes is, we should not, we should stop including them. We should stop saying black and See, brown. What they don't understand, ball game is that Cesar, Cesar Chavez and Martin Luther King fought they the same pilots. fight. They the did. Black they Panthers did. and the Brown Beret found the fought the same fight. You understand? And that's when they was Chicanos. They wasn't saying a lot of the stuff that they saying now. They don't even use the word Chicano anymore. But they was Chicanos. There was the Brown Beret and the Black Panthers. They fought side by side for the same things. I understand because that, they, but look. But what I'm saying is, Melly, you understand what I'm saying? You know, you know, some of some of us are educated. We understand that history. We understand that back then there was a certain unification. These the, the, some of these new Mexicans right now, they want they, they want to be white people. And what they don't realize is you did what I'm saying that, you know, the, 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 the same these same white folks, you did what I'm saying, who they trying to be like, hate, hate them just as much as they hate us. You know what I mean? Right. And then you got to think about it. You know what I'm saying? You got these Mexicans that's trying to whitewash themselves. You know what I'm saying? Who don't like the Pisces and the dark skinned Mexicans that come from deeper down in Mexico City. Another thing that these Mexicans don't right. want to identify with is that they got African blood, and that's why a lot of them is dark skinned. They look the way that they look. You understand? The original Spaniards were white. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Your European Spaniards are white. They are white. The Mexicans don't even realize that Spanish is not even their original language. Okay, now, okay. So, okay. so for this clown, Jose Rodilla. To sit up in here listening to this, talking. Hey, this, what's going on? Talk, talking this bullshit. Go. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know. I, I, I get, I get upset just a little bit because I have a lot of SA homeboys down here in San Diego who I got love for. You understand what I'm saying? And they, and and they've always been respectful, and we've always respected their boundaries. They have always respected ours. But when you get a clown like. American Cholo talking about the Black National Anthem is coming to a football game near you. You goddamn right it's coming to a football game near you, motherfucker. It's 90%, the, the NFL is 90% black. The fuck is you talking about? When we when we go to when we go to soccer games here in San Diego, when I was a center director, you dig what I'm saying? At one at one at, at, at one of the biggest parks that hosted um um soccer games here. I was the only black. Why? Because I had to. I had to manage and facilitate the field that they was using. Them motherfuckers would sit out there with a big ass speaker. You understand what I'm saying? And instead of saying, instead of doing the 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 American national anthem, 
and taking off their hats and saluting the American flag, they out there with a Mexican flag and they and 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 they're and they're and they're, and they're playing the Mexican national anthem. Ain't nobody got a problem with that. We don't care. You dig what I'm saying? The reason that you the reason that these clowns are speaking on it, I'm gonna tell you why, man. And I'm gonna leave it at I'm gonna leave it at this is because you know what? Everybody who hate black people want to be us, man. And that's the reason they always adopt our concepts. They always adopt our music. You dig what I'm saying? They always adopt our ideologies. You understand what I'm saying? And another thing, you know what I mean? Uh, um, one, one thing that I will say that we don't do our, in our neighborhoods, we're not going to move into the neighborhood and park seven goddamn cars in the, in, 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 in the, on the property paint the goddamn house blue and then set up a goddamn outdoor swap meet in front of the motherfucking house. You dig what I'm saying? And bring down the property value. You dig what I'm saying? To our neighborhoods, that's something that we not going to do. You know, so this Jose Gradilla motherfucking man, eat a dick. Fuck you. Okay, now. Ball game over. <laughs> What you what you got to say, Marcus? Man, look, I, you you know me, Melly. I usually don't get on no podcast and do nothing like that, right? Right. So, and the reason I jumped on was the same reason as Jose Cat. Man, half of the rights that most Latinas and Latinos have is because of the civil rights movement. You understand what I'm saying? Now, us growing up in Compton, we grew level up eight in the in the chat. You know what I'm saying? We grew up with, you know what I'm saying, Latinas and Latinos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, did we always get along? Nah, not at all. You know what I'm saying? And another thing I wanted to point out, man, so if you look at how, you know, I come from a different type of background, you know what I'm saying, where the moves that I made because of Bright Dog and because of other homies in my neighborhood that pushed me in a certain direction. So I come from a different, I'm cut from a different area, right? Now, growing up with Mexicans, seeing Mexicans from different parts of the world, seeing Puerto Ricans, El Salvadorians, you know what I'm saying, sleeping next to these cats, all kind of stuff, right? Even white supremacists. It's more prevalent that, like Ball Game said, man, these dudes is trying to be white. How are you gonna try to to uh, align yourself with the same person that's oppressing you you know what i mean everybody talk about uncle tom man they don't really know who uncle tom is in the same way most black people are ignorant about their culture mexicans y'all are ignorant about y'all culture you yeah, ignorant one, about where you one, come from 100 percent marlena you i hear you I'm baby saying? but marlena not to cut you off marcus i hear you marlena but 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 tonight this motherfucker done got up under my skin, baby. <laughs> you know Shout out to the ball game. <laughs> so so you can't you look at you know this whole Columbus thing, indigenous people, black people were over Africans had been to had been to South America way before Columbus came. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Why do you think you have those Dominicans that are dark? Why do you think you have most? You know, real Southern Mexicans that are almost the same color as me. What's up, you Tiny Bob? What I'm saying. So, you why do you have them people that look like me that are straight Mexican? So, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? This Jose dude, you come popping off about all you know. This dude trying to unite, man. He ain't trying to unite nothing. If he was trying to unite something, he wouldn't be popping out his mouth about what's going on derogatory in the black community. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's trying to unite something, you don't focus on the negative, you focus on the positive. And that's the problem. Most of these Mickey Mouse, I, I try not to cuss, most of these weirdo, no nut having, you know what I'm saying? Vagina between their legs, men, you understand what I'm saying? Don't wanna, you know what I'm saying, stand up and be men and, and take, take it on the chin if need be. I'm going to stand 10 toes down for what I believe in. You understand what I'm saying? Most, Most of them don't even my... know who Gaspar Yanga is. Gaspar Yanga was a black man that, that fought in the revolution, that fought in the slave revolt. He was down there in, in a, a part of, better part of, a uh, better, better crew where, where, the, where the 
people of Mexico tend to get darker down there in uh, Acapulco. So Gaspar Yanga, yeah, they go look him up. Y'all understand that oh, we help y'all fight for y'all y'all's rights too, bro. I'm you know? Yeah, but you gotta think. But you gotta. You gotta you know think about this. Hold on, hold on, ahead, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad, my bad, my bad. When you look at when you look at these people, like I said, they don't know their culture the same way we don't. You know what I'm saying? Right. Even going that far back, how many black people know about Medgar Evers? You right. understand what I'm saying? They put a lot of emphasis on MLK and Malcolm X, and I'm not taking nothing from them, but they don't know what Medgar ever stood for. He was down there doing it before they was. You and they don't saying? take them by uh, uh, Jaja Dessaline and Overton Tehran and Gabriel Prosser, Denmark Vassy, Nat Turner. Come don't on, take man. them down there. <laughs> they don't They don't know. And the same way that these people, you know what I'm saying, focus on this whole no. Columbus thing, Who do they know who Amerigo Vespucci is? Or better yeah. yet, better yet, check game. When you ask them who's Estebanico, who opened up the Southwest and the West. Come on, man. Right on. You're going too far. Without, it would be, you know, <laughs> Spaniards wouldn't have anything over here. So when you sit up there and tell them, and then when you do the 23 and me, they don't understand. They don't know what happened in 1491 when Santiago defeated the last more stronghold in the city of Granada and Queen Isabella in league with Cardinal Zimanosa gave them. Tell them about to, so they don't know. See, homie. Tell them about to know. They don't think. Man, they don't get that. They don't get that. Hernando Cortez came over here in 1519 with 521 men, and then he met, Mexico, which means one who messes the with conquistadors. He came to Marina and married her, and the conquistadors came over here with the indigenous woman of this continent, a black slave, and that European that was a Spaniard. And after three generations of intermingling, thus came the mestizo who evolved into the Mexican. So when they do that 23 and one, and they want to come with all this race crap. And want to be terrorists running around here they don't even understand the lineage of who they are or what they are yet i don't knock the salvadorian the mexican the nicaraguan and so forth and so forth and so forth it is that terror group called the serenio on the south side those are the hey. books that i'm attacking daily those are the hey. books that have audacity to write in on the wall those are the bums that freely use the n words that i don't use those are the bums that i'm gonna keep riding on daily every day because they're hey, both. hold up, hold up, right? Oh, hold up, hold up. Let me say this, man, because I've seen this on a couple of things, and I'm, I'm going to hit them up. You know what I'm saying? I am who I am. American Cholo, Dubs, the other cat, Blue Devil, the other cat that's from up north. Oh, Swift and Blue, and, 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 and uh, Swift what's the dude, blue, the man. Gunners that Collective? I, I won't even let his name come out of my mouth. That dude's a straight clown. Anyway, for y'all, that thing, Bright Hog is. is is prejudice or racist against Mexicans? Let me tell y'all something, homie. And I'm gonna tell you like this: Wait, I wait, Mac Wade eyes. Look, there is no way that this man could be prejudiced against Mexicans. Trust and believe me. There's no way he. He got Mexican kids. You understand what I'm saying, Bob? What up? Wait, I wait. You know what I mean? So. For y'all to come on and say this, that lets me know that y'all just looking at something on the internet and trying to say, you know what I mean, what he's saying at face value, but you don't know the man. You can't speak on nobody you don't know. So my thing is, shut the fuck up. Do what you got to do. <laughs> Talk about your people and leave, leave all, especially my homies, because I'm going to tell you, I'm a nigga that's 5150, and I don't even like to use that word. I'm one that'll go there. So look, let it go and speak on your people. Uplift your people. Talk about what y'all are doing at MacArthur Parks. Talk about what y'all are doing to all these different races. You understand what I'm saying? Or where you trying to go? You know what I mean? Leave the black people out hey, of They ain't gonna tell you about really how they how they right. robbed their own people in MacArthur Park with the with the fruit carts and the ice cream carts. That part. You have to look do at you the know, do you know that we supported more Mexicans? Then I'm gonna tell you just coming through Corporate Park, dude coming through there with the tamales, coming through there with the low with the core. All of that. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't eat I don't I don't I don't eat none of that shit because they handling that shit. They 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 pick they <laughs> urinate up against the trees. They don't wash their motherfucking hands. You dig what I'm saying? I don't. What I don't. I don't. Say? I don't. Hey, I don't Bogey. 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 What you drinking Bogey. tonight, man? Even, uh, even man, I'm, I'm just having a Bud Light. Eh? The, I, I heard about to cut you off, Marcus. The little dude said, uh, <laughs> "Keep speaking, you drunk motherfucker." Whatever he said, you know what I mean. But I can I can almost guarantee you, if he and I was face to face, he, you know how you know how they do. 
they never want to catch a fade. It's all it's always now. Nah, we don't want to catch no heads up. It's always those types of things. But I'm just having a bud light. The thing is, earlier when you started the when you started the platform earlier today, the, the the young man came in and he was very disrespectful, man. And one thing that I do know about your platform, and one thing that I know about us, we don't disrespect nobody because we don't have to because we're real men, right? And like Marcus said about Bridal and myself, I'm not I'm not I'm not racist or prejudiced against Mexicans because I grew up with them. You did what I'm saying? And I and I do understand that I do understand their plight, but it's just unfortunate. You did what I'm saying. You got to think about the message during the civil rights days, other than Caesar Child. Let me ask let me ask y'all a question, right? When Donald you, Trump me, when Donald me, Trump when Donald me, Trump was talking. Go, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, Melly. No, I just wanted to finish my point. When, go ahead. When 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 we were fighting the civil rights, uh um, when we were fighting for civil rights back in the sixties. You understand? Other than Cesar Chavez and maybe, like you say, the Brown Berets and maybe a couple of, uh, uh, he wants to say they're not Chicanos, but they're Latinos, whatever it is. No, dude, the whole Mexican culture is, is basically predicated on, 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 La, on, on, La, on Latino ideologies. And the thing is, they sat back, you dig what I'm saying, and waited for us, you understand what I'm saying, to not only fight, get brutalized, die, get killed, and get laws put into place, to where everybody can be treated equally once we did that then they came out the woodworks you understand what i'm saying and then they start supporting white supremacy you know and what and and, and and one more thing and then i'm then i'm gonna sit back because i love to hear the rest of you guys speak is that um um a, a, a lot of these hispanics you don't even they they understand it but you got a lot of hispanics who do live in the ghetto and who are impoverished, the, 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 the so-called Mexicans who live in the suburbs, got these good jobs, they go to school, they don't even like, they don't, they, they, they look down on the other Mexicans, you understand what I'm saying? Why? Because they, because I've heard it here in San Diego, where they say that those Mexicans make them look bad in the eyes of the white people, and I've heard that. Hey, hey, Melly, let me hit this real quick, right? So you know I'm down here in Texas. So... You know, growing up in Compton, California, and I'm in I'm in the six one nine. I'm in San Diego, Jose. You, you understand you what I'm saying? So you and I, we we can pull up on each other anytime, pal. He ain't gonna do that on me. No, nah, he ain't. He ain't gonna a, do that. Yeah, he's a buster. But go ahead, but Marcus. If you you know what I'm saying, growing up Let me in Compton, my mic. <laughs> growing up in Compton, you know what I'm saying, with the Serenios and all of that. I get down here, homie. It ain't it ain't no issue with black and brown. None. There's no issue with black and brown down here. I mean, they reason why folks. because the Serenio doesn't exist in Texas. Well, no, they down. They they're down here. But the problem, the thing is, I want to say the problem. The the solution is they like hold up. We we work neck and neck with them. You know what I'm saying? Because you down here in, in a society where white is right. You understand what I'm saying? White is right. So in that so moment, look, we we jumping ten toes down with each other. Like I said, I ain't got no issue with Mexicans. I ain't got no issue with our Salvadorians. I ain't got no issues with Spaniards. I've been to Spain many times. And the cold part is you got Spaniards that don't like Mexicans. You got Cubans that don't like Mexican, you call a Cuban a Mexican, or call a oh, they a Mexican, or call a Spaniard a Mexican. You know what I'm saying? In my where I grew up, everybody was Mexican, so I was calling everybody that looked like y'all Mexicans. But that's not they get down. You know what I mean? Right. I right. didn't learn that till I went over there. So you know? and they they have a big <laughs> issues with how and it's really you know what I'm saying. I love I love my place in Nativity. I love my place of birth. You know what I'm saying? But that's where the issue is, is with the right. Mexicans in California. Right. So in 2016, when Donald Trump was first nominated to run for president, he came out that the rapists, he said the murderers, and the deplorables, we're going to build a wall and we're going to kick them out. We don't want them. But yet, those were some of the same people that the people that, that he was referring to were of Mexican or, or Latin descent, right? But yet, 
a large percentage of them voted for him. I don't know because so what you're saying about how they align themselves with white ideology, I guess they exempt themselves from being a Mexican and they actually voted because Donald Trump and then when they start Donald Trump starts snatching them babies, he starts snatching babies and women and throwing them in cages. It was black people that went down there and started protesting. It was white people. It was white people and some Mexicans. You know what I mean? But what I'm telling you, it was a coalition of people that went down there and said, no, this is wrong. This ain't right. You can't do these people like that. But when they did them Haitians like that, only black people showed up. Man, Melly, it's black people right now that, you know what I'm saying? I'm right down here. I'm in San Antonio. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm right next to Laredo. You know what I'm saying? I got family that's Mexican. It's from Brownsville, Texas. You know what I mean? You can't get no more south than that. Man, I ain't never seen nothing like that. But them people, let watch this, Mark. Them people was down there whooping the Mexicans on horses. They was on horses like they was doing the slavery days. Whooping them but black who, people. Who, who, who was down there? Like you said, nothing but black people. But I've seen it for myself in Laredo. You know what I'm saying? These, when these, these, El Salvadorians and everybody else, because I can't call them all Mexican, because they was El Salvadorian, they was Mexican coming across the border. Black people was down there fighting for their rights. Black people was down there to get them kids out of cages. You understand what I'm saying? And I know this for a fact, because some of the cats I work with had to be down there and did security for the cats that was in the cages. Uh huh. It was nothing but it was black people going down there. Even these, all of these, all of these congressmen that they got here, man, they wasn't going down there like that. You didn't see Ted Cruz going down there. You understand what I'm saying? And that's yeah. the thing that we need to understand, is especially as black people, man, we got to stop with our, with, I hate to use this word, Lord, I hate to use it, this crab in the barrel mentality. We put I each did. other down. We pull each no, other down. Job, and, instead I'm a little of that, and instead of instead of letting that one that's on his way out grab onto his leg and help him pull you up, you want to pull him back down. So you let me do this, Marcus. Marcus. I want I want to play a clip. Hold on, Marcus. I want to play this clip that Bardolf did while I got it on my mind, and I want y'all to because this is what Bardolf. I think he summarized it pretty good. Hey, 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 hold up, man. Before you do that, share, but I'm gonna jump right into this because it's three individuals that you know I'm gonna bust on this morning. And the reason I'm gonna bust on them is because I've been looking at old videos tonight while I'm sitting here, and I'm like, wow, these cats are really saying this kind of stuff. So the first person I'm gonna get at is Gil from American Cholo. See, you have someone on your show who doesn't really know the history of us culturally speaking to a full extent. So I'm gonna give you people a definition of what a coon is. Europeans used to chase, when I say Europeans, I'm referring to people, the American people, white people in the 18th century, 19th century, things like that. They used to chase raccoons up in the trees. And once they cornered the raccoons, they chased them with dogs. They gun them down. Easy pickings. Raccoon up in a tree, can't go anywhere, shoot it down. Well, they used to do the same thing with runaway slaves. They chase them down with dogs and the runaway slaves would run up in a tree because they're trying to get away from the dog, not to be bitten by the dog. And then if it was a slave that was constantly running away, they'd shoot them down like animals out of the tree, like a raccoon. Thus comes the word, we're going coon hunting because some slaves have escaped tonight. So they start calling us coons. So in, in Jim Crow era, when it was really hectic at the turn of the 20th century, they'd chase brothers all through the swamps and through the forest and they'd go up in a tree and they'd gun them down before they lynch them, things of that nature. So you know what coon meant. You had someone on your show who really didn't know the definition of it and the origins of it and how it was applied to us in a derogatory way. You do say you don't use the N-word, but you say mayate. Like it's, you know, and that means that's the lowest form of disrespect that you can give a black man, but it originally means black bug in Mexico. But you guys took it and flipped it and made it a derogatory way, just the same way as the European took coon. See, Gil, you call yourself a conservative. Huh. So the conservatives did what? They didn't care about babies being snatched at the border from people that look like you. I call you a coconut. Brown on the outside, white on the inside. You sit up here and send a message. Well, can he just sit down and talk to me? Can he come on the show? Can he get on the telephone? Never. You are no one for me to talk to. You are not in my league. I will run circles around you historically, and I will run circles around you intellectually. So you are no one for me to talk to, Gil from American Cholo. You know, and then you sit up here and say the homies and allude to like you're still in the streets. Well, how can you be a conservative? And be a homie. 
I don't understand that one right there. Now I'm going to jump to this dude, Swifty Blue. You wear gold in your mouth and you wear fade as if you're a brother from down south. That's who you remind me of. Yet you say you would never sign to a black. Then you align yourself with Kodak Black, who from my understanding has a sexual, uh, a sexual charge, a sexual assault of charge on his jacket somewhere on doing something to a female. And he was found guilty, already tapped out to it. So obviously he's guilty of it or he's not. I don't know, but he tapped out to it. So that's his guilt, right? So your people get on you about him. But do they get on Bozo, who's aligned with American Cholo? Do they get on Bozo, who's supposed to be your adversary? Yet he's supposed to have relations with a 15-year-old girl. Imagine that, a 15-year-old girl. One year above what is defined in law as lewd act with a minor. As far as I'm concerned, that's still a minor 15 years of age. He's a grown man. But they, yeah, that's the word that's supposed to be the biggest kept secret. That Bozo messes with a 15-year-old girl. He's infatuated with her, and he's having sexual relations with her. I don't know. Am I throwing an allegation out there that's falsely done? No, it's based on coming out of his people's mouth. Huh. But it may be false, it may not be. Y'all know, y'all know the truth. You know what he There you have it. There you have it. <laughs> so, Brian, <off. laughs> what prompts you to, I mean, I know you did the research and you put all that together. What well, job well done, bro. Job well done. Um, talk to us about that, Brian. Off. Well, first off, this, this, is, this, is, this is my problem with all three of them. I don't use the N word. Yet one of them has the ideology of where he will not sign with a black. He hasn't came to the mind brain, the intellectual comprehension, and he hasn't surpassed his single digit IQ, Swifty Blue, of recognizing that money is not prejudice. It doesn't care who owns it. So that's his first mistake. Then he uses the N word left and right. Then he says, well, you know, they're always throwing out you guys, you guys, you guys making it a culture thing. You guys mess with sexual predators and this, that, and another. Now, but here it is. You're all up on the sexual predator's rear end. You got some, so your nose so far up his rear end that you got shit on your nose. The other guy says the same thing. Yet here it is. You're messing with a minor, according to your people. You are messing with a minor, with a child. Now, Gil... He tries to say everything is a sound bite. They're taking his words and misconstruing. Goon should, coon should never come out of your mouth. You should have coon coming out of your mouth. We do not say people, you know, I don't like to, I don't use the derogatory terms towards them, so I'm not going to say it. But, you know, uh, I don't allude to people running across a river and getting wet. Okay. I don't use that word. So why should you be allowed to use coon? How can you, how dare you say that we sold in work corporate America, so therefore anybody can use it? That doesn't make any type of sense. Who sold the N-word to corporate America? Because I don't use it. It doesn't apply to me because I'm not one of those. I'm a man. So I had to tear him out the frame because of the things that he say. And then to sit up there on a panel and say defeatist things about lift every voice and sing. You zip damn fool, are you up on Proposition 209? which War kindly tried to circumvent everything going on here from affirmative action on down, and we, as a people, fought it? Are you up 187? I didn't see you down at the border. I don't see you begging on your, your, your uh, 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 cat. I don't see you sending any money to your homies. I don't see you helping out the women who they tricked and sent to Martha's Vineyard with your cash app. See, the difference in he and I and the other two is I don't survive off of the internet. I don't survive off of YouTube. So since you want to act crazy, I'm attacking you where it hurt, in your pockets. Because you can't attack my pockets. You can't slander me. The best have tried. Whack tried, didn't work. No smut on me. Charleston White tried, didn't work. My own people tried. And they're a hell of investigative individuals. There's nothing that they said. What, I lost a fade? Yeah, I can't fight worth nothing. I used to shoot stuff up when I was a kid. I was out of my mind. All you got, all you got, all you got to do is keep your hands up here and keep your chin, Chuck. Hey, and, and slay them things. I didn't duck it, baby. <laughs> Shit, I I you, yeah, you, you can fight. You just, you know, the ball game is that they understand that there's no way that you can attack me on what I'm saying because it's a truth. Got it's you, a got truth. You. It's a truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So got you. Got you. me and try to make something say, well, by saying coca, 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 coconut, right? is akin to saying Uncle Tom, that once again shows me you don't know your history. Uncle Tom was tortured by Simon Laguerre. What, what's his name? Simon Laguerre? Simon Laguerre? Or something of that nature? Uh -huh. 
Sambo set him up. Uncle Tom was deemed a bad person in the eyes of the European slave master who had to brainwash slaves saying, oh, oh, Uncle Tom, he ain't no good. See, they don't get it. So you constantly, that's why I said I would run circles around you historically speaking. I would run circles around Stop you. Stop, dog, where you been, man? So, so you dig what I'm saying? So when this dude sits up here, this is why when he calls me on the, well, he didn't call me, he called a third party on the phone wanting to sit down with me. I would never sit down with an intellectual inferior. You are inferior to me intellectually, not culturally. Intellectually, you are inferior to me. When you can start dictating things that are to your people, dictating things that are conducive to the growth of mankind, then I'll sit down with you. When you learn the air of your ways, you are a person that embraces an ideology, not an ideology, but an ideology that is so. Yeah, me personally, by dog, I think he lacked the the mental gymnastic and the te te testicular fortitude. And the, and the mental capacity to even uh, sit down with you, first of all, first and foremost, I think that uh, he couldn't sit down with you just mano, mano, we mano, man and man. You know what I mean? Because he would be intimidated. And, and that's, that's, that's the reason why he won't take the meeting. No, I won't take the meeting. Oh, excuse me. Okay. I got you. Okay. And check, I'm playing chess. I won't take the meeting because what he does is. He has, he has. That was good, Jay. Okay. What he has, what he has been doing ball game is he go ahead. dudes that are that are intellectually deficient, and mm. he talks them, under talks them, and and then he throws out certain things from that they're not conscious of. I'm not taking nothing from anybody. I'm just some people intellect is not in on equal par with other people's intellect. When you had one of ours on your show talking about Coon, he didn't know where Coon originated from, mm. and he admitted. Didn't know where Coon originated from. Therefore, he shouldn't have spoke on Coon. Therefore, he should have said, "Hey, all I know is Coon is a derogatory term towards us, so bruh, don't speak on it." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so you called us. You called a member of our community a ghetto Coon, not once but twice. Okay, so you have no right to do that. And I just fear and justify Coon, meaning that a Coon. Is someone that goes against his culture? No, a coon is something. Yeah, bearing. Okay. Our four, our four forefathers in this country. So how dare you in the world? Individual in the millennium that's of our culture. So I'm, I'm going cool. to serve you. I'm going to serve you. You'll tell, run up in the hole that you're despicable as a human being. You are a part of a terrorist group in the millennium. We live in the most liberal state in the United States of America, and we have the most racist of individuals that are melanated people to a certain degree living in the Southern California region of our state. And they think they won't be addressed. They think they can be nickel slick and slide these subliminal messages to generation now and try to bring them into the fold. And that, and I don't like using profanity, but that's bullshit. Right, but I, you know what, you 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 open my you open my mind. You you just open my mind to a couple of things. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. You just you just you you just open my mind to a couple of things because I didn't even look at it like that. See. I don't have a I don't have a problem. They constantly say in the comments that rasa, you hate me. If they really knew the definition of the rasa, they would be ashamed to use that word. But I'm gonna let obtuse in that arena for right now. And if you don't I'm gonna know, look it, it up, it simply means dim witted, simple minded in that arena. Okay. Mm -hmm. They don't even know where the word rasa derived from. They haven't a clue. But I will enlighten them. And then they say, Well, how do you know so much about our coach? Well, I have two children that I shared with a Latina. And I was never the type of parent that was, go oh, ask your mama. When a son comes ask his father something, his father should be able to tell him. So I made it my job to learn their culture. And I understand this much. I almost, had a, I almost had a baby by a, a Mexican as well. Go ahead. The only time I'm the smartest man in the room is when I'm in the room by myself. So there's always something I can learn. It's just like when I was in the feds and dudes used to say certain derogatory things about the dudes that are Mexican nationals. And I said, let me explain. To you about how much smarter that man is you he speaks perfect and he speaks perfect spanish 
Are you bilingual? Then how can you say something derogatory about him? That so uh, right off the actor, bat, actor Chucks, the Serenio Jr. is to continue to distort their own, and to do that, the hypocrites, their European ideologies, align themselves with the white supremacists and make our folks the bad guys. That's true. That's true. But see now. Now, I applaud you for the courage to say what you said. In that say that. But in the same token, I applaud you, but I'm on your side to dispel that myth. You are not a part of that terrible structure that just so happens to speak Spanish. It's obvious from what you wrote right there. So you are the individual that I would gladly sit at the table with. You are the individual that I would gladly frequent your place of business. You are the individual whose grandchild or daughter would allow to play with minds. So see, it's not a thing of like I said, I've never said a discern, I've never said a discerning or disparaging remark pertaining to the Spanish of the diversity that comes over to this country. I'm my attack that I'm gonna keep reiterating is not against the raza. No, it's not. It's not against the culture, the race, or whatever you want to apply that to, or whatever diet or, or if you want to put the rasa in it is against the terrorist group known as the serenial and the subsidy and you are complicit even if you are in a neighborhood you are complicit in that ideology because you tattoo the same tattoos as the individual that enforces that ideology you cannot tell me in 2022 that right now at five nine I can walk up the street and avenues. You're looking strange, man. You can't tell. And then some people say you couldn't walk in a bad area anyway. No, it's a bad area because you deem it a bad area because you let the media brainwash them to thinking it's a bad area. So, so why, right, ball area. What is what is what is what is the solution to all this? I'm I'm a, I'm gonna tell you. Let, let, let me just tell you. This is just my opinion because bright off. I can listen to Bright Off with you. Bright Off, I'm at to come up, man. You're going to give me a class, man. You, you I'm, I'm at to talk to you on some. We're going to have to talk on some individual because there's some things that you said to me tonight that's really just opening my mind because I am an intellectual, but I have a master's degree in communication and human services. I, you know, I, you know, I, I, I you know, 28 years with the city of San Diego, five with the county of San Diego now. Um, <laughs> um, I just. This man. I, he don't went. On, he don't went on a whole other tangent. Not you, ball game, but this Jose Cordelia. Uh, well, he said know, the you know, Anunnaki be yeah. having secret See, meetings with Putin and Russia. For when what? he when he when he said that, I just it, it just come to realize that this young man just he might he might be one of the young men that I really mentor in one of my mentoring programs down here in San Diego. Because now I'm starting to understand that the young brother that he 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 just really doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? And he might. Yeah. Just, his Adderall, so we just go. I, I I engaged him earlier, but 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 the same thing with Charlene White. You know what I'm saying? Intellectual brothers like ourselves, we don't engage idiots. So I, I'm not even. You know, let's not even read anything else he has to say, man. So, but back to Bright Dog, man. Bright, I, I I'm a, when I come up there, I need to holler at Bright Dog because he opened my eyes to a couple of things just now, in reference to how we do our research. And then the information that he's been able to retain and and still give it to us the way that he gives it to us, because I, I'm, I'm kind of the same way when I do my research. You understand what I'm saying? I know what I'm talking about. I will not speak on anything that I don't know about. Why? Because when you speak on shit that you don't know about, it makes you sound like an idiot. Yeah, I, you know, that is true. You and know I what I mean? Think, so. Yeah. So, you know, so. um so so now back I, I wanted to say this is that right was saying that we're not attacking la raza we're not actually attacking the culture but every once in a while like i did with the individual and i'm not going to say his name but like i said with the individual uh, all i did was attack and address the individual in, because 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 of his idioticies and 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 i'm glad yeah, but Bart, I mean, not Bart, no, but you if you listen, the solution? this is the solution, man. For me, I, I was about to get okay. that. Really. I, was about I just to want to add, let me add just one thing. But if you look at what Bardock was originally saying, 
he was attacking a mindset. It had yeah, nothing to do with the people. Yeah, that, that's that's the point. That that's the point. That's the point. But see, that, okay. that's the point that I was about to make with the with the individual who I addressed earlier. It's his okay. it's his mindset is what I was attack what I was what I was dealing with at that particular time. Now my mm -hmm. thing my, my thing is how how do we how do we come to a solution? As far as I'm concerned, Melly, we don't. We as brothers, we as black people, we as a community, we need to worry about our own. We ain't got time to be worried about nobody else. Why? Because ain't nobody else worried about us. And that's and that's just one. That's just one. Don't get it twisted. Me that's being, a solution, bro. Me, me, me being a mentor. I was anybody that comes to me for help. I don't care if they white, black, oriental, yellow, green, orange, red, or blue. You understand what I'm saying? I will still offer my services to anybody who needs it, anybody who wants it, anybody who seeks it. But at the same time, I think for us as a people as a whole, we need to start worrying about our people. Nowadays, when 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 I when we talk about community, I don't say black and brown no more. I say black. Because right now, all I got, my, my, my main concern is our people. Unfortunately, you dig what I'm saying? You know, I can't worry about their people as a whole, because I'm going to tell you right now, my brothers, both of y'all, and I'm going to say this right here, right now, they don't give a damn about us, and why should we about them? And with that, I land. <laughs> <laughs> and Drake, have a bud on us. <laughs> I hear about zero, zero, Heine, but this, this, is, this is one thing I do say, and I respect. Okay, a guy asked me, oh, I bet you're going to take my comment down. So I told the guy, no, I'm not going to take your comment down because I'm a firm believer in my mind. I agree to disagree. That's what gives me my individuality, to agree to disagree. And when as men, we can agree to disagree, then we can meet each other halfway to some type of, 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 of solution because every problem has a solution. It's just a matter, are you willing to stand up for your, your culture? See, that's the problem. Now, as far as with them, my thing, like I said, once again, not nothing against the Spanish speakers. I think the cancer should be cut out. I think once you cut the cancer out, all the little small, in, all the little small things could be workable. You know, because every culture you're going to have races in it anyway. You have black people right now that are raising their children right now to certain ideology. You have Hispanics doing the same thing. But that's not that's not the subject. The subject here is that you have a guy that's trying to build a platform. And his platform is predicated on hatred. His platform is predicated on him saying constantly the homies. When you have a referral to the homies, the homies is alluding to gang membership or to a hierarchy of individuals above you. Right. So you keep saying the homies. So therefore, you are a part of the problem. When you bring guys onto a show and it go literally like this, when you speak of the African-American, the black experience in the form of lift every voice and sing. When, when we are the highest percentage of individuals in that playing field. So it's like a person said, maybe you're upset and you have the slave master syndrome of when he had a baby by the bed warmer he in turn sold that baby maybe you're upset because you have a beautiful child that comes from your lines as well as whoever else's and she just happens to look at me a grandchild so maybe maybe that you know i have a grandchild that looks 100 mexican i love her all the more more so than i love her more and more so if that makes any kind of sense because she can me. so I'm just attacking these guys because of what they do and what they get on social media and how they perpetrate it. You know, you would think Swifty Blue was from down south. He, yeah, the way he acted, carry on. You know, and then the N word is his favorite word. Yeah. And then, then he he would uh, if, if 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 any one of these main street black artists came and said, "Let's make a song right now," he gonna bust his ass to. Yet you won't sign with anybody black. Come on. See, you, you, you're a county jail baby, did a couple of months in the county, and now you're a authority figure on race relations between our two coaches. You haven't got nah, he, he sound really stupid to me. You know, you know, he's a single digit IQ, just with the capacity to memorize lyrics. But he has a single digit IQ. You know, you know, just to say what do, but uh, we've been up in here over an hour, bro. Okay, but, but you know what? I'm going to say it like this in closing, man. 
Okay. And I really want this to resonate. And I would like each person out there to tell another person out there that I said this. I have nothing against the Spanish speaking culture at all. My attack, and it would be ongoing, my onslaught to my breath would be against that racist, terrorist faction of the Southern California demographic community that speaks Spanish, that decides they want to terrorize other melanated people based on an ideology that was dictated and handed down to them by supreme white supremacists. I, 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 ride, I ride with uh, with bright all on that and in closing i ain't got nothing against the uh, hispanic i love my essay homeboys my shit one of my best friends rudy hernandez right now is living down in playas down in and down in uh tijuana his whole family mrs hernandez treat me like i was mr 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 hernandez rest in peace i miss you mr hernandez him and his mediachi music but mr. Him, mr hernandez and mr hernandez treated me as if i was one of their own you know what I'm saying? And I also got to put this out there. God dang it, I love me some masculine women. So I don't give a damn what they're talking about. You understand? They can, they can, they, like I said, they can kiss my ass for all I'm concerned. You know, I love, I, I got love for the Hispanic people. You dig what I'm saying? I got, I got love for freedom fighters. I don't care what color you are. And, 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 and another thing, you know, you know, um, um, I'm not a bully. And, and I believe that. It's brothers like us who come from these intellectual mindsets and these think tanks. It's brothers like us, you understand what I'm saying, that need to continue to fight, not only for these ideas that we have, but for the people who don't necessarily have these ideas. And I'm going to put it out there. I'm real good with these. You dig what I'm saying? I'm real good with these. And I'm real good with these. So, you know, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not pulling no punches. I'm not the baddest motherfucker out there. But at the same time, I'm going to put it out there for those. So, so for, for so, there's a couple of motherfuckers in here that's been talking that shit. You be careful, man, and and and, and, and motherfucker, don't 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 wish to run into a brick wall, goddamn it, because I'm a brick wall, god dang it. And Miss Marlena Williams, I'm sorry, Miss Postmaster, I'm um, excuse my language here on this platform. Um, I want to I want I want to I want to uh, show my big homies Millie Mel and Bright Dog a lot of respect. You dig what I'm saying? I'm going to continue to run this marathon. Marathon continue, man. And uh, the marathon <laughs> continue. And, 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 and at the same time, I'm not going to let nobody disrespect the black race. I don't give a damn who you is. And that's on that, and that's that's on the 619. Beautiful thing, man. Matty Bell, it's been a pleasure. Where and they find time. you at, a ball game? Where they find you at? Man, man, you know what? I, I they, they can find me on... Uh, they can't find me right now. Fuck. <laughs> Where they find you at, Bright Dog? Come to California, baby, all the time. Or uh, Urban Realness. In Urban Realness, hashtag Urban Realness. If you find me there, definitely find me there. Hey, Bright I'm going to call you tomorrow, big homie, if okay, you don't mind. No, no problem. Yes, yes, yes. Call me. Okay, you know, okay. Urban Realness, hashtag Urban Realness, hashtag OG Bright D, man. That's where you can find me. You can catch me, man. Man, shout out to the Mailroom Nation. Shout out to Mailroom Shout out Boy, to Hope Save for coming in. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Daryl Jackson. Shout out to Art TV. Shout out to Chris Hollow, Marlena Jet Williams, Austin Trap City. What's going on with your champ? <laughs> Michael, what's happening with you, man? Skunk Dog, where you been, baby? Officer 5000, what's good? Hey, give shout a shout out. out. Give, give a shout out to my little homeboy. San Diego Scum Dog, give a shout out to my little homeboy OG Goodfella and uh and Mike Marks and 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 and, and everybody who was in the chat. You know, even yeah, the, Madrid, even, even the Madrid, Italy, uh, Montgomery, you know. everybody, man. Till we get back to the next time, y'all know the vibe. I am Professor Melly Mill and I am the hood postman. Is baby, <laughs> proof of grind all the time. Music money, got a dollar sign. I'm a street nigga, streets fuck game. with me. I'ma keep pushing products to the fans. Get me, it's Guap off top, Diamond Cartier. That nigga Wall won't give a pro bitch the time of day. They see me climbing, they see me, they see me shining. See me. That's hard work, hard work, proof of grinding. Sprayer. Go big, grind now, nigga, play later What can I say? I'm addicted to this paper stocking And I don't talk about
make it happen. My lady Williams, you know the vibe. Go ahead and lock the door because we are gone.